Art means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And so do tools. For example, a chainsaw. Maybe to you, this is something that just destroys or inspires movie franchises. But in the right skilled hands, this can create things of beauty. Well, apparently that's not me, but these guys here behind me are incredible artists, very skilled with this chainsaw, and they're doing what they love all weekend long here in Lincoln, and they're doing it for a good cause. This may sound like chaos, but beneath the noise and all the sawdust, something is taking shape. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, all these carvers from across the Northwest will be here in the parking lot of Lampkins putting on quite a show and selling off their pieces to raise money for the Sam's Hope Foundation, which helps families battling childhood cancer and others in need in the Lincoln community. Now this is the first year of the event and organizer Valerie Clark told me they didn't know what to expect, but not surprisingly, the Lincoln community jumped at the chance to help sponsor and bring in these lumberjacks. They're feeding them every day. They're, they've helped us to pay for them, their gas to come in and their lodging. Everybody that you see on this street is basically sponsored, so the community just really came together. And it's not just the Lincoln community. This brotherhood of artists is just as tight-knit. And that's where Valerie's husband comes in. Yeah, my name is Lewis Clark. Yes, that is his real name. We checked. He's a custom woodcarver here in Lincoln and knows a lot of these guys from competitions. They go from weekend to weekend at different competitions, and so you invite one, they all wanted to come. But well, we just wanted to give back. That's the main thing because the good Lord blessed me with a, with a good paying job, you know, and I get to do what I love. And I meet some great people. All these carvers, I know, I know them all, they're great people, uh, and they do phenomenal work. Like Anthony Robinson from Washington, who's relatively new to this group, but couldn't turn down the chance to bring his talent to town. I heard the story about uh, the Sam's Hope Foundation, and I was invited by them in Ronan, met the whole gang from over here, and just really cool people. Chainsaw is charity and community. I'd say that's a pretty good way to sum up a weekend here in Montana. Just ask Anthony. Love it, love it. Oh my gosh, you know, I mean, I love Washington, but I love the people out here, they're, they're so cool. I think everybody in Montana is like, has the attitude of, we can do it, we can do it, whatever it is, we're gonna accomplish it, you know? For more information about the carving competition or Sam's Hope Foundation, check out this story on our website. And if you'd like to put in a bid for the piece of art I carved, send me an email to andy.curtis at ktvh.com. Reporting from Lincoln, Andy Curtis, MTN News.